The allegations of abuse made by women against him have exploded beyond Hollywood, creating a cultural tipping point. They've forced a deep examination of who we are to one another, whatever industry we work in and wherever we live. Unlike the other stories Hollywood tells itself and us, this is no fairy tale. It ends with guilt and shame, the luster gone out of this city of lights. Southern trees bear a strange. I just want to put the politics on hold for a second and just kind of do this video. Um, I was I was like taking account of where I've come from in my life. And the past three years have been incredible. I mean, having left the army, uh, started my own business, been involved with other companies, going on television, doing all these crazy things, and how social media has just changed everything, how it's, it's revolutionized the world in a good way. But it's, it's changed how we view things. It's changed how we view one another, how we, how we view people. Like, internet famous is a thing now. And we adapt with the times, and and I've seen countless people fall. I've seen friends that I was in the beginning with get a little taste of, of fame and they sold out. They won't be true to who they are anymore. They, they, they are afraid of losing followers. They won't speak on topics or speak what they truly believe. They'll, they'll lie to the people. Revelations of abuse and assault are peeling back the facade of Hollywood, shattering reputations of the powerful and the political, rippling from Westminster to Capitol Hill, from New York to LA. And here's, here's where it gets weird, man. I was, I was, I was getting changed and I, I was putting on my favorite shirt. My favorite shirt is this shirt. It's, it's simplistic, it's red. There's no logos, there's no advertising on it. Um, and it's simple. And I love that. I love the simplicity of it, that it allows me to just wear a shirt without any message, without anything, just to blend into the crowd a little bit. And I always remind myself of that when I wear this shirt because it's so simple. You stay true to who you are, to what you believe in. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to your morals. Stay true to your integrity, your beliefs. Don't sell out. Don't pander to the weak. Don't pander for the sake of political correctness. Don't sit there and cave in because people say you should. If you truly feel in your heart that you believe something is true, you stand true upon that value and you don't compromise. And I wish we had more of that in this world. I wish we had more people that would stand up and speak their true feelings instead of lying. Lying and, and, and cheating the people and stealing from the people. We have corrupt politicians, corrupted Hollywood, corrupted everything. The day we meet Kim Masters, Hollywood reporter's editor at large, she's on the crest of another story of alleged sexual misconduct. Disney has just suspended the head of Pixar animation. The veteran journalist says Weinstein had been on her radar for years, but his power and legal reach kept the story hidden. Amid these glittering lights, there's an overwhelming sense of opportunity lost. You were really doing everything you could. Well, that professionalism, I've kind of learned, can, can hurt you at times because sometimes it's important to listen to that voice inside, even if it means that you're going to be fired, even if it means that an opportunity will go down the drain. Alexis told us Weinstein kissed her forcefully on the mouth and put his hand up her shirt. But the thing that people need to understand is when you speak your mind, and you're truly speaking from the heart and how you feel about things. Speaking it is the easy part. Dealing with backlash is the hardest. So remember that. So if you're going through a hard time out there and you're feeling like maybe you don't know whether you want to speak up on an issue or stand up for what you believe in or this, that, and the other, 
I'm telling you right now, it's not easy. I've been around the world. I've been featured on a lot of news articles, a lot of television stations for the things that I've said. But it's worth it because no matter how much hatred I get, no matter how many people come against me, I've always held true to my beliefs and I won't compromise them. And that's brace for impact. Brace for the disagreement. Brace for the hatred that's going to come back against you because it will come. Brace yourself for that because so many people will come to me saying, I need this and I'll help them. And all of a sudden they'll start getting criticized online for even doing business with me, for even knowing me or taking a picture with me. And before I know it, I lose a friend because of my views and how I feel. And we don't even know where to go to anymore to get our news and everything is just so just confused. Rockstar Pink was never going to be a typical mum, but now she's opened up about raising her kids as gender neutral. She's told a magazine that she doesn't want to impose traditional gender roles on six-year-old six -year -old Willow, her daughter, and 11-month-old son, Jameson. Plus, she was happy to see a gender neutral bathroom at a primary school recently. So should we be raising our children this way? So some controversy today from Pope Francis that has people sort of turning uh, their heads a little bit on this one. The leader of the Catholic Church suggesting that the Lord's Prayer, the best known prayer in Christianity, which is prayed by not thousands, as I said earlier, but 2.2 billion people around the world, may undergo a little bit of an edit. He says the phrase, lead us not into temptation, suggests that God induces temptation in his followers and do not let us fall into temptation would be more acceptable. It's heartbreaking because you truly feel alone and isolated sometimes. I know a lot of people out there, regardless of your political belief or your religion, you feel somewhat the same way, like you're on this road by yourself, you know? And you got no support. You know, it's funny, on Pinterest, everybody's figured out how bad they planned their wedding. You know how bad your wedding looked? Just go on Pinterest. And you know how much money you spent and you didn't even have candles inside of mason jars? Are you kidding me? On YouTube, you realize how unexciting your life is. You're telling me you're not jumping off cliffs, cliffs with a GoPro attached to you? You're not flying on Qatar Airlines with a $20,000 ticket? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, on Facebook, you realize how you don't have any friends. <laughs> and on Instagram, everybody looks better than you, don't they? You, what are you telling me? You're not a brand? You're not monetizing your Instagram account? You don't have makeup tutorials on there yet? What's wrong with you? You don't have a click with a hashtag? Are you even alive? Some of the older people are saying, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> Stay that way. It's freedom. It's freedom. <laughs> Social media creates in you the pressure to perform instead of the release to live. We have a tendency to, to get caught up in, with, in what other people think of us. Um, I, I know that for many of you, and I slip into this as well, where we start to filter our decisions in life through the eyes of other people. What will others say and what will others think? And so we become prisoners of what people think and what people say when they see us. Um, you're critical and judgmental of others. We see this with the religious leaders. They, they're critical and judgmental of others as a way to elevate themselves, as a way to make themselves look more impressive. Um, another symptom would be that you exaggerate the truth to impress. You take something that is true, but you feel like you've got to add to it. You feel like you've got to exaggerate it uh, because you, you want the people around you to to be impressed. And there's a lot more symptoms we could go through. I wanted to throw a few at you that would just convey this reality. We're all struggling with this, one degree or another. That was some seasons more so than others that we all deal sometimes with this pressure to make people happy, this fear of what other people think. Um, another symptom would be that you change what you believe or change what you express based on who's in the room. And, and Jesus made it clear that 
the religious leaders were paying too much attention in, in Matthew 23 and Luke 11, the religious leaders were paying too much attention to what other people would see. And he says, look, you guys come here to, the, to worship and you look good. You look good on the outside and you're dressed the right way and everybody's impressed, but I know who you really are. He, he, he tells the religious leaders, I'll tell you what you're like. You're like these um, gravestones in a cemetery that are all clean and nice, and they've been well manicured, but on the inside, it's, it's rotting corpse. On the inside, it's full of dead men's bones. That's what you're like. And Jesus explains to the religious leaders, look, man might look on the outside, and they might be impressed with they, what they see, and, and your religious resume might give you some uh, attention here, but, but God doesn't look on the outside. God looks on the inside. See, Jesus put it this way in Luke 6. He, he warned followers says, look, beware when everyone speaks well of you. Beware when everyone likes you. And we want to have a good reputation, as Peter talks about, so that others can see our lives and it would glorify God. But, but beware when everyone speaks well of you. Because it might mean that you're living such a safe, comfortable, status quo life that you're not really a factor. No one's uncomfortable. He wants you to live freely and lightly, like one verse says. The Bible says that my yoke will be a perfect fit. In other words, I've formed a life, a calling, a purpose that's specific to you, and it's a perfect fit. That's why you can't look at someone else, because if you try and take their yoke, it will be ill-fitting and it will be too heavy for you.